Good morning, everyone. I hope you're having a blessed day in the Lord today. It is October the 11th, 2021. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. I had a wonderful weekend. It was a very eventful weekend from many standpoints. And I want to come on here and I want to tell you about um, a dream that I had on Friday night. And it was a dream that pretty much became a warning dream in which I initially did not recognize it until these things happen. But I'm going to tell you about this dream. And, you know, if you if you like to keep up with end time news and current events, please subscribe to the channel. would love to have you give God all the praise, all the honor, and all the glory. And before I tell you this dream, I want to remind you that for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places, which is Ephesians 6.12. And I want to tell you about this dream. This dream was, uh, like I said, a warning dream, I do believe, of things to come over the weekend. It was a dream of spiritual darkness. It was a, a very, mm, oh, it was a very, very strong dream about spiritual darkness coming against myself and others. And let me start out by telling you this dream, it took place in a setting, um, that I wasn't familiar with. It was a setting of like a large basement. You know how you can go into these houses and go into uh, a basement area and you have like just, it's like underneath a crawl space of a house, but yet you can stand up in it. You know, you have the, the dirt floors and you have the the uh, the cinder block beams and and you have dirt and dust and spider webs. Well, anyway, this dream took place. It started out in a place like this. It was a place of darkness. I think I remember in the dream, maybe one little tiny window, you know, that like you would see on the foundation of a home, just to just to let just a little bit of light in. I, you know, the window itself was probably no more than a. I don't know, a one foot by two foot window on the far side of the of the of the area that I was in. And I wasn't alone in this area. This was it was a stand up area. Very dark. You couldn't see anything except for maybe the light of this little window. And it was it was kind of uh um outside you could tell it was kinda of like at dusk, kinda. The light was there wasn't very much light coming through the window. So you really couldn't see a whole lot. And I was in this area and there were some other people around me. And there was like maybe two or three other people. And in this dream, you had a sense of urgency. You had a sense of um, something not right, something just very diabolical, very evil in front of you. You had you had the sense of there was like a uh, a spiritual presence, a dark spiritual presence in this room that you couldn't see. And I remember in this dream we were trying to find this dark presence, not to not to uh, find it as to you know make contact with it. We we're trying to find it so that we know where its location was in the stream, in the room, so we could get out. And I remember in the dream trying to hold off this spiritual darkness, this this dark spirit, because we felt it advancing, myself and the others that were with us, and we would try to cast upon it in the name of Jesus. And all we could say was, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. 
as we were trying to fight this thing to get out of the room. And it was advancing. It was attacking. It was it was trying to you know destroy to kill. And uh, I remember that we were fighting this thing long enough to get other people out of the room. And we fought it long enough to get out of this particular room. As a matter of fact, as soon as we exited, we closed this basement door so that we could seal this spiritual darkness that was advancing toward us in this room. And as we sealed the door, we made it outside. And when we made it outside, it was at it was dark time. It was it was nighttime at this point. And I remember standing in the driveway of what appeared to be a large house, white house. Okay. And there were other people in the driveway. There were maybe mm, ten people that we were counting that we got out of this room. Because this thing was after not just me, it was after several others. And um, I remember looking around at all these people, you know, thanking our blessings, thanking God that we got out. And as I looked around, I, I noticed a couple of people. And as I noticed a couple of people, uh, certain people, standing there this spiritual being like detached itself from the person it's it, it's like it, it it hooked a ride from the room outside and this thing became a person standing in front of me a ghostly being and as i saw it form in front of me i put my hand out onto it and I said in the name of Jesus and that's all I could say in this dream but it seemed to be enough to drive this thing away and the dream ended it was a very short dream but very specific and I woke up the next morning and I thought Man, what a dream. Because I've had dreams like this before. And I'm sure a lot of you out there have. You know, you've had these 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 uh, particular dreams come about and you've experienced them. So um, I <laughs> I woke up and I was like, man, that was, a, that was just a crazy dream. And I told my wife about it. And to make a long story short, what I thought was just another dream... Turned out, in my heart, I felt to be a warning because the rest of the weekend was fighting off um, demonic spiritual attacks from different places. And uh, I wanted to tell you this because I know there's a lot of people out there now that or, or they're going through something like this and you're not alone and, and I want to give you some words of encouragement on that because I, I want to let you know that we are fighting a spiritual battle we are fighting not against flesh and blood but of um, principalities against powers of darkness against the rulers of this world because you have to remember that right now Satan is the god of this world and that's what we're fighting against but i want to thank god for giving me that warning dream because i do feel it was from him and i, I do feel that this dream was a warning for what's to come to get me prepared for it and to let me know that you know this is a time of spiritual warfare like no other on this earth and that uh, if we keep our trust 
in Jesus Christ and we keep our eyes on him, he'll get us through this. So just a, a short video. And I do have some other videos coming out today uh, that I won't be able to put on this channel. But, you know, I'll, I'll you know the routine. I'll let you know where to find them. And uh, guys, let me know what you think. Let me know if you've had other dreams like this. Um, I love each and every one of you. And I will talk with you soon. Eugene now.